Hi, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. In this video, I'm trying to find out how efficiently the Volkswagen ID3 can be driven on mountainous roads if done so correctly and also how much this car regenerates. I've already done the consumption test on the EcoDriver loop. You'll find the link in the description box below or at the end of this video where we had a very good result. I also want to show that the consumption in the mountains must not necessarily be much higher than a general driving. But here as well, it needs to be done correctly. We have here the model with the 150 kilowatt motor, capacity of the traction battery is 62 kilowatt hours gross, 58 kilowatt hours net. WLTP consumption is 15.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, as always including charging losses. The unladen weight is 1,900 kilograms, 4,180 pounds. Here I show you the loop we're doing, twice clockwise and twice anticlockwise. At the blue marking, at the lowest point, there is a roundabout where we change direction every time. The loop is 14 kilometers, 9 miles long. The eastern part is a bit longer and therefore flatter. The western one, where we are going up now, is a bit steeper. Highest point is at the red marking. We have around 500 meters or 1500 feet of elevation. Overall, this adds up to 2000 meters or 6000 feet up and down. I take the consumption every time we come to the highest and to the lowest point, And with that data, we can analyze this trip afterwards. And now enjoy the route and the nice weather. See you later. At half time, we have 12.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. This is around 4% above our consumption on the EcoDriver loop. And this shows that this and every EV can be driven economically even on challenging routes. But as I already said, it needs to be done correctly. 
On the way up, try to avoid braking, as there is a natural force that does it for you, which is called gravity. Yes, I know, you recuperate energy, but at the end of this video we will see how much this is, and no matter what the result is, you never get back what you have invested in the first place. Also, on the way down, it's important to try to use momentum, try to avoid using extra energy. Use the kinetic energy stored in the movement of the car and gravity to bring you down and not to waste any additional energy. At the end, we see 12.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So we are around 5% above the consumption on the EcoDriver loop. And now, the details. You see here the details of our trip on our mountain loop with the Volkswagen ID3. 12.7 kilowatt hours overall, and also the detailed consumption per lap. And when it comes to regeneration, we have, ta-da, 45% which is really good compared to most other cars. Uh, so far with the cars I've tested, the range was between 35 and 49%. So this is definitely a very efficient car as we have already seen at the EcoDriver loop. However, one thing to keep in mind with electric cars and also with this car is that you don't have unlimited regenerative capacity on your electric motor. Uh, that means going downhill on a high speed and then braking harshly for a hairpin turn. Uh, it might well be that you exceed the regenerative capacity of the engine. And therefore you use the friction brakes and uh, you don't recuperate that amount of energy that could be possible. So that's even more a problem with weaker engines. The 150 kilowatt motor here should be okay in most cases, but still keep in mind that uh, braking gently is always better. And it's, it's also, there are also other factors that restrict the ability to uh, recuperate the energy or uh, charge the battery. For example, low outside temperatures, high battery temperatures, because you're already regening a lot on longer descents, uh, the battery is full. So if the battery is already full, where should the electric energy go? So you're using the friction brakes and they don't use the full capacity of what could be possible. For example, if you start your trip somewhere up and, and you start your trip going down, then make sure that the battery is not full because then you have uh, wasted the energy you have charged because you would have got it for free on the way down. And uh, all those factors are things to consider when trying to achieve the best possible range and the best possible consumption. If you want to see the video of the ID3 on the EcoTravel loop, that's here. If you generally like what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe to this channel and if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss any new video. Thanks for watching, take care and see you next time.